Today, Bel Air Networks is actually launching uh, a new product, their, their uh, Strand PicoCell product. It's a compact wireless base station that leverages the cable operator's existing HFC infrastructure to deliver mobile broadband internet via both licensed and unlicensed wireless spectrum. So it's an exciting day for them. And let's hear some more from Dave Park, who's the Vice President of Product Marketing for Bell Air Networks. Well, thank you, David, and thank you very much, everybody, for allowing Bell Air Networks to present at your innovation showcase. It's a very exciting day for us because uh, this is our worldwide launch of our new strand-mounted Pico cell, and we thought this would be the perfect opportunity to uh, do the first live demos. So uh, why am I talking to you, the MSO community, about a strand-mounted Pico cell? Well, there's been a dramatic change in the, uh, in the mobile wireless uh, data market. What's happened is there's been a huge growth in people accessing the internet on a mobile device. AT&T alone has experienced a 50 times growth in uh, data traffic on their network in the last uh, 36 months. Now, that's been driven by the advent of all these wonderful devices, the iPhone, the iPad, the Androids. So how can they address that? Well. The traditional evolutionary path of uh, macrocells, which is a doubling of performance at each generation every five to seven years, really cannot address that 50, 100 times growth. What they need to do is deploy small cells, bring the base stations close to the end user, and give them a much better user experience. Now, that's easier said than done. There have been traditional barriers to that type of approach, which has made the microcell deployment very much a niche type deployment, something that happens um, at a particular location, maybe a stadium, maybe a, you know, a particularly busy street. The key barriers that they've experienced have been mounting, power, and backhaul. And we have an unprecedented business opportunity in the cable industry to solve those problems. They've been insoluble, until now, that is. So what do I have here? Well, what I have here is a compact base station, a strand-mounted um, PicoCell base station. Oh, there we go. Um, it's uh, attached to cable plant. Could be overhead, could be in cabinets, could be in pedestals, even underground. And we've demonstrated the ability to do underground. Attached to HFC, integrated DOCSIS 3 modem, um, takes its power from the HFC. And within it, a modular arrangement that contains uh, both a dual radio 802.11 Wi-Fi, as well as a cellular um, radio. And I'm, if we can move to the Elmo. Perfect. As I said, I have a live base station here. Um, thanks to my friends at T-Mobile who've given me uh, access to their spectrum. And you can see a kind of a strange network ID there. Um, if you can uh, take off, you saw 001. That's my own live uh, base station here. And Just going to phone that. Can we have the other little window up, please? OK, you can see the uh, call flow happening there. That's my BSC uh, doing uh, call processing messages. And there we go. I've got an incoming call. As I say, live demonstrated on a strand mounted uh, base station. Perfect. If we can go back to the slides. So, what did I just do? Well, what I've done here is I've leveraged the cable network. Uh, so up the top of the, uh, the diagram there, you have a traditional 3G network with a, a node B attached to an RNC, the mobility controller, and voice calls flowing through the MSC to the PSTN, and uh, data flowing through the SGSN to the uh, GGSN off to the internet. And so what we've done here is we've leveraged HFC plant. We've leveraged the learnings that we've had with a number of the companies in the audience in how to automatically and rapidly deploy base stations. And so the unit attaches via DOCSIS, which of course automatically connects. Um, it uh, gets its configuration from the MSO network. Then it tunnels back to a Pico cell controller that's in the mobile network and you know, delivers the 3G 
um, through the mobile network. One of the key things here is we've shown that we can operationalize this, deploy base stations in minutes, not months. And that's a key learning here. Now, I also said we had Wi-Fi in that. And if we can go back to the Elmo. So uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of networks here. Uh, we're showing uh, on this iPad. And you can see uh, optimum Wi-Fi there, Cablevision, uh, Xfinity, Comcast, and Time Warner. And thanks to uh, Cablevision for enabling me to uh, connect to their network. And bingo, we've actually tunneled back. If I can go back to the slides there, that's the optimum portal. Um, what we've done there is uh, we've actually tunneled back through the cable network, actually across the internet in this case, as we're hearing Keystone, uh, back to the, the core of the Cablevision network. And we actually deployed that portal, came out of New York. Um, now, one thing we've done very interesting here is that we, uh, we're actually pulling the traffic now not through the mobile operator's network. We are uh, bringing it out to the internet very early. And that's a very future-looking architecture, which when we get to deploy LTE, matches the future architecture. OK, great. So why would we do this? I think this is a key uh, point. So why would we want to do this? Well, the mobile operator, he wants to do this because right now his user experience is suffering. We need to move his base stations into the street, get them close to those, those end users. So what this does is it solves his power mounting and backhaul problem, gets him a way to very rapidly deploy base stations in the street, deploy them in minutes, not months. OK, that's great. Why would you, the MSOs, want to do this? Well, this is very uh, important. So traditionally, you actually have been delivering backhaul connections to mobile operators. You've been delivering fiber pipes to macrocell sites. And that's a, that's a good you know, dollars for bits business. It's not very sticky in the long run. It's something that could be competed. What we have here is a network element that's part of the mobile operator's network. It's a managed base station. It's something that hooks up to your key asset, the HFC, auto configures from there, tunnels back to the mobile operator. And it's so it gives you a way of providing a managed network element, a base station. This is a much more sticky business, much more sticky even if it's a, you know, a in effect, a backhaul-like relationship. But there's also other business models for you here. For example, those of you with MVNOs, you now have a trading card. This base station gives you a trading card with the mobile operator where you can trade capacity. You also have the ability to trade capacity on the Wi-Fi site, been using the Wi-Fi to offload the network. So it opens up some very interesting business models and discussions. The other thing, of course, those of you with Spectrum, it gives you a way to rapidly use your Spectrum and deploy it with capacity to actually really use the capacity of your Spectrum. So, what makes us think that we can actually do this? Well, the good thing here is a number of the companies in the audience have already proven that they can deploy mass scale Pico cells. 20,000 and more uh, Wi-Fi enabled Pico cells in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut alone. So we've shown we can do this. We've shown that we can overcome those barriers of power mounting and backhaul and deliver a wireless service. We've shown we can integrate to the back office and provide a managed service. And integrated in the unit is policy management that enables you to differentiate the greater service or transfer people between 3G and Wi-Fi and back again. We've also shown with other customers that we can use Wi-Fi as an offload technique to enhance 3G networks in the most horrifically interference-prone environments. Times Square, New York, for example, Chicago. Lollapalooza Music Festival, where 65,000 daily attendees. Um, so we've shown we can use these tools. And here's the tool. We have a robust, integrated, strand mount PicoSalem Wi-Fi, which uh, will enable you to get into this business. So thank you very much. I uh, very much appreciate your time. If you'd like to see uh, more detailed demos or uh, ask questions, please feel free to come by our booth in the Innovation Pavilion. Thank you.